Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind donation to Rodney Carrington Marriage. This says you're watching Rodney Carrington's Laughter's Good. Let's see what he has to say. I walked up to my wife in a Holiday Inn Lounge in 1993 and said, I'm gonna get you pregnant and marry you. What? She said, you're an idiot. And three months later, she was pregnant. We got married. Now, I don't recommend that kind of courtship. It comes with a lot of heartache. <laughs> but we didn't know each other. You know, I didn't know what it was like to live with a woman for any length of time. You know, you ever walk up on a cat and it goes... I'm sorry. He walked up to this lady and just said that to her? Like, what kind of... And it worked. It worked, obviously. But, like, if a man walked up to me and said that, I would... I would be... I'd be like... I don't actually know what I would do, but I would not go be pregnant three months later, I don't think. Or maybe I would. I don't know. I like to live with a woman for any length of time. You know, you ever walk up on a cat and it goes. <laughs> Five to seven days out of the month that happens at my house and we don't have a cat. But I sympathize after 17 years of marriage or watching it. If I had a spot on my body that just bled for no apparent reason and I had to carry around a wound kit, some gauze pads, and neosporin and doctor myself, I might be pissy too. Yep. 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 Wound <laughs> kit, some gauze pads, and neosporin and doctor myself, I might be pissy too. You know? <laughs> He's so country. I feel dirty. Sitting in a Chili's trying to order. I'm bleeding. Get me a tea. I'll be back. I wouldn't. That's really how it goes. That's really how it goes. That is really how it goes. Just, oh man, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Get me a tea. I'll be back. I wouldn't make it as a woman. It'd take two weeks and I just sew my shit shut. Go on, be real. <laughs> be gone. I'd just be a good helper. I could help you load the toolbox or make you some biscuits. You'd have to cuddle with the dog. <laughs> Physically, we're not the same. Not after 17 years, but you know what? I didn't plan on that. I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't think we'd change. I didn't know that at some point our relationship would truly be about love and companionship. And it will be someday. Because we're going to get so disgusted to one another, naked, that we're just going to look at each other and go... You want to just get dressed and go eat something? <laughs> that is horrible! Uh. You want to just get dressed and go eat something? <laughs> I'll see you at the car. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, man. While we're still somewhat attractive to one another, I'd like to do it a little more often. And my wife will say things to me like, well, I wanted to do it the other night. You didn't. Where was I at? Where was I at? When? When my foot touched your foot. What? When your foot touched my foot, was my foot supposed to tap my wiener on the shoulder? Women, 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 we got to do better because the way the men tell our story, in our head, it feels right. In our head, it is actually right. But when they retell it, their recount of what actually happens makes me feel insane. Insane! <laughs> it's supposed to tap my wiener on the shoulder? <laughs> My what the hell kind of hint is that? You crawled into bed in them pawpaw pajamas. You look like a boy. You look like a damn boy. You look like a boy. You can't get excited when you look like a boy. She has a pouch. Uh. I don't have any boy pajamas, but I do have one thing that my husband cannot stand, and it's my bonnet like that I put on my head. He told me this the other day. Like, y'all know that TikTok trend that's going around? Well, it went, it was going around about sharing your ics with, like, your best friend or your, your significant other. So we were sharing our ics, and his was my bonnet. And I was like, oh, 
But like, honestly, it's the most unattractive thing. It's like this big sack just laying on your head and like just flopped down. <laughs> and I'll have on like the nicest pajamas with my bonnet. But like, I can't not wear my bonnet. Like, that's not an option. I need my bonnet, guys. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is so Black <laughs> She has a pouch. She has a pouch? After three kids, you have a pouch. You know what I know about that pouch? You can't grab it. And it's hard not to do in cold weather, isn't it, boys? You get, oh, get in the bed with you. I reach down there. Oh, it's hard not to reach around there and grab that pouch. But when you do, just know, you know. It's like when you grab a woman's pouch, it's like saying, hey, fatty. What's up there, fat stuff? Why don't you run in the kitchen and get you a pop dart there, fatty? Oh. Women hate that sh <laughs> That is a no-sex penalty right there. <laughs> Grabbing the pal, 12-yard walk to the guest room. Oh. No oh. sex, fourth down. They put the echo on my cheeks hurt so bad. It's been three and a half minutes and my cheeks are on fire. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> The echo, the football echo, the, the referee echo, I'm done. I'm sent. <laughs> woo! The crowd, woo! You can't even put your arm above her pouch because her boobs are down there now. <laughs> your, your best bet is just throw your arm around her shoulder and pat it. God bless you. Good night. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. You know, oh. and there's sex penalty. You know, a woman can hold sex from a man. You know, you ain't getting any. <laughs> we don't have that ability. You know, we can't get pissed off and go, "Well, I hope you don't mind your vagina being empty for a while." <laughs> Why is he marching like? I hope you. <laughs> Oh man, y'all, this is it's hilarious. I'm I'm I just got married in June, so this is hilarious to me. This is hilarious to how much truth there is in this, and I've only been married seven months. Why is this so true? If you don't mind your vagina being empty for a while, <laughs> that does nothing but evoke laughter. <laughs> how long do you think oh, it lasts? Even if we did say it. Hope you don't mind your vagina being empty for a while. All she'd have to do is go, oh, yeah? What do you think about those? Well, hell, I guess we can hold off on that rule for just a little while. <laughs> we don't have that chip. We don't have that chip. Oh, my cheeks seriously hurt. <laughs> There's got to be compromise in a marriage. You know? There's always temptation. That's going to be with you everywhere. But if you got compromise, you can withstand it. If you don't, you'll run off and just your whole life up. You will. Some people don't know any better, but temptation goes all the way back to when we were kids. Remember when you were little? Mama would take you to the ice cream store and get you a plain cone with one scoop of vanilla. Remember how happy you were? I love vanilla. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> His kid voice. I love vanilla. I was not expecting that. I wasn't. Vanilla. Remember how happy you were? I love vanilla. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> All this hopping and skipping and marching around on the stage is too much. It's too much for me. He's hilarious. What is he doing? Don't you just love the way kids move around? I, love that <laughs> I wish we all still did that. You know, no. Get a coffee. <laughs> me, I do. You know? Look at my shoes. They made me run fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you're standing there with your little plain cone with a little single scoop of vanilla. Scoop and another of kid vanilla. passes you with a big old double scoop of chocolate and Oreos drizzled all over it. What the hell? <laughs> I want some of that. And that's like marriage. After a while, you're walking with your little single scoop of vanilla <laughs> that in the beginning you were real happy with. And another guy passes you with a big old double scoop of chocolate. 
two M&Ms placed perfect. <laughs> that ain't right, man. That's not right. The analogy is spot on. It's a good analogy. It's a good analogy. Two M&Ms placed perfect. <laughs> What you don't understand is underneath that double scoop of chocolates, a sour old walnut that'll give you food poison. And might put a ward on you, Packer. Ah! Uh, Rodney Carrington, I've never heard of you before, but you are funny. That was funny. And it was so spot on. Like, the accuracy is kind of scary. Like... Is, is this really what marriage is, y'all? Oh, man. Oh, gosh. All right. That was funny. Please go have the day you deserve while I go, like, ice my cheeks. <laughs> Peace.